guys, my name is Wesley Shell. I'm here to do my informative speech with Miss Debbie Garcia, fellow classmate who's recording, Mr. Alex Gerard and Mr. Kevin Pena, who are also fellow classmates. We're excited to introduce you guys into some new things. So to start off, we are talking about disc golf. This is not frisbee golf. We do not throw frisbees um, uh, against popular belief, but these are discs. Um, and I'm going to talk about how to actually effectively throw a disc. So there's three things that you really have to do in order to throw this well, to compete in the sport of disc golf. Um, it is actually a, a paid sport right now to do it well. Um, so the three things that you have to do in order to throw a disc correctly is first you have to find the target. This is what the, the target looks like. We call it a basket. The second thing you'll have to do um, on each hole is you need to choose the correct disc and then you need to make sure that you have correct form. So picture this with me. You're walking up onto a disc golf course. Um, the first thing that you need to do is find the target. Find where you're going to start and then find that basket. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to look for a course map at the park and that will tell you how to get to the first hole so that you can get started. The second thing that you'll do now that you have arrived to hole one, you will look for the T sign. The T signs usually it's a little 12 by 12 whatever picture of the hole how far it is all the different things you find the t-sign and then you go and make eye contact with the basket so for me i don't like to just rely on the picture i like to make sure i see it and because it's through the woods the majority of the time or it's around corners or up or down a hill make sure you make eye contact with the basket so that you can effectively know where your target is after you do that you need to make sure and you choose a disc now a difference between frisbees and discs is that um, discs actually come in different forms. This is a putter. It is a thicker, it's a thicker disc. It goes slower. It turns or fades slower. Um, and because of that, people use it for short distance, but there's also drivers that are wider rim and they're flatter. There's fairway drivers. There's hybrid. Just like golf golf, there's many different options. So you need to make sure that you choose the right one for your hole. So the first thing that you're going to do in order to effectively choose a disc is you're going to gauge the distance. Now typically the distance is written on the T sign. So you'll find the T sign that will show you 300 feet or 1,000 feet or whatever it is, a different par. Um, and that will help you choose a disc because of how far you throw each one. After you figure out the distance, you then need to look at the hole through the angle of its turn or its fade or the different inclines or declines. Um, and, and what the whole shape really takes. That way you can pick the right disc for you. And then the final one is picking the speed of the disc. So for me, I've been playing disc golf for five years, um, and I throw for a company named Prodigy Disc Golf, um, and I like to throw putters a lot. Um, they are easier to control. Um, it, it's maybe a little more difficult to grip because of how deep the rim is, but it, it's my strength. Um, and I can throw my putters just as far as I can throw my mid-ranges or my fairways. So typically, I'll find out what kind of speed or what kind of angle and all that I need, and I'll pick my disc according to that. Now, anything that's about over 400 feet, I'll have to pick a driver for. So now that I've effectively picked my disc, I know what the hole looks like. I know where the basket is and I've got my disc in hand, I'm about to step up and I'm gonna throw. And this is the most important thing that we have to learn in throwing a disc golf, uh, throwing a disc, because that actually pertains to frisbees as well, is to have correct form. A lot of people get upset because they're not good at disc golf because they just walk up and they just chuck the disc. But really, in disc golf, if you want to throw well, or a frisbee, or baseball, football, any time that it comes to throwing anything, you need to have correct form. So in disc golf, there's a couple specific things that we focus on to make sure that our form is correct so that we can throw the disc on that hole the best way possible. The first thing that you have to work on is your footing. So we do something specific called an X step. And if you've ever seen um, a, a group of people dancing or you've ever danced yourself, you've probably done this. You know, you do the little, the little music shuffle right there, the little X step, that's what it looks like. So when you're facing your hole, imagine the hole's right in front of you. You're gonna take an X step, you're gonna take your foot forward, your foot back, and then you're gonna come back. So that's your footing. It's really easy. You really just need to make sure that you line your body up with the basket. After that, you need to remember to use your core. One thing 
that a lot of people do, um, it's probably the biggest mistake in throwing a disc, is that people think that it's just all arms, so they just hurt themselves. Um, but you really have to remember to use your core, and that's what will get you the extra distance. So once you take that X step, you're able to use your core and to pull the disc through your body. And then the final thing that you have to focus on when it comes to form is to have a smooth release. To make sure that your grip is smooth and you let go of the disc properly so it doesn't fly over. I've seen people get hit in the head because people didn't hold on to it right. So make sure that you have a smooth release. Once we learn to do these three things, when you learn to find the, ta uh, the target correctly, then you pick the right disc for the right angle and the right speed, and then you learn your form, you are then able to attack the basket and to throw a great round and to be great at the sport of disc golf.